I'm Adam Malkin. For one day, some of Israel's top science and technology high school students took over a corner of the Big Apple's Union Square with this street lab, a tent designed to show what young people are capable of if they invest time in learning these so-called STEM subjects, science, technology, engineering, and math. The projects inside range from this mobile app for instantly identifying from a barcode whether the product you're holding contains ingredients you're allergic to. For example, if I'm allergic to milk, I pick uh, from the list milk, I scan the barcode, and uh, you're allergic to milk. It means that the um, yogurt included milk and I can eat it. And this camera is installed in teens' cars and can, if there are any signs of inebriation, initiate a Skype call with mom and dad, who in turn can initiate a breathalyzer test even shut down the car. The parents can see the results of the test with the breathalyzer, and they can, they can decide if we can start the engine or not. And while the innovations themselves are interesting, what's also worth noting here, Israel is having a similar problem the U.S. is having, and it's having a hard time getting its younger people interested in science, technology, engineering, and math. So as one of its potential solutions, it set up what's called a SciTech Schools Network, a potential solution that it's now trying to share with the U.S. The charter schools place a heavy emphasis on STEM subjects, which program organizers insist leads to around 67% of grads to continue in a STEM field versus the 37% that do from non sci tech schools. We have uh, uh, algorithmica, electronica, the science of the, the sea. For about the last year, seven schools in New York have been implementing a similar sci tech curriculum. Israeli educators say they're now set to branch out across the U.S aiming to share the system with around 100 schools within the next few years. Adam Balkin, New York One. And that is it for this half hour of New York One News, but stay tuned. Well, the very latest on our top stories, along with the exclusive weather on the one forecast, coming up after.